Hey everyone, Ariel Laddams here with the Block to Watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. This is a review of the Citizen EcoDrive Proximity. It comes in two versions, this um, brush steel with blue trim and then one with a black case and green trim. They're both the same watch. They have just different colors and they cost the same amount of money. This is the world's first analog watch which can connect uh, with the blue Bluetooth device um, but this one just an iPhone. So if you have an iPhone 4S or 5 and ostensibly whatever comes later you can connect um, this watch to the phone using Bluetooth 4.0 to get a couple of features. Now let me just say a couple of things to start. Um, connecting your watch with your iPhone is, I guess you could say, arguably, you know, one of the one of the logical futures of basically wristwatch is for the general public. Meaning that not everyone is going to be able to afford an expensive mechanical watch, um, but you know, basically using something, a watch in in sort of concert with a device you're already carrying makes a lot more sense is going to make sure people wear watches a lot eventually watches may even be able to replace uh, mobile phones or other devices but you know that has yet to be seen in the future so what's what's really special about this one like i said is it's not the very first watch which can connect to a bluetooth device but it is the first analog one and that means a lot because not everybody wants to have a a, a bluetooth connected uh, watch which is digital um, Casio has some of those, but Citizen came out with this one uh, in 2012, and it's it's a very attractive watch. EcoDrive, of course, means that it has um, Citizen's light or solar-powered movement, so light enters the dial and charges the Japanese quartz movement, so you never have to put in a battery. So the way this basically works is you you have to initially pair it with your phone. And then what happens is the phone syncs with the watch when they're in close proximity, sending it information such as time and calendar information. Then if you, you look along the edge here, I'm trying to see if you can look there. You see it wrong, the, the, the flange ring, that's the sort of sloped ring around the dial. It says call, it says mail, it says LL, it says ACT. These are different indicators telling you you have a missed call, a new text message, etc. So I have it, I have it paired right now um, with my phone, and I guess I'd have to have another phone call my phone to show that there is a missed call. So I'm not going to do that right now because I need, I'm not going to go run and get another a phone. But basically, what's going to happen is very simple. This, uh, the seconds hand, is going to stop. The, the, the watch will still tell the time, it's counting the seconds inside, but it will stop and it will point to one of these things. So if it points to call, you know you have a missed call. And what the watch will actually do is vibrate. It will vibrate a little bit. It's not, the, it's not the most, you know, intense vibration, but it's a little one. Sort of a little jolt to tell you, hey, you need to go ahead and check your phone because you missed something. Now there's an app that you have to download. Uh, Citizen has an app available. It is the EcoDrive Proximity app very very straightforward. Um, and pairing it is it's not difficult but you definitely have to look at the instructions. There's actually right here you can see a way to use their web instructions but then again you can't look at the instructions while using the app really. It's kind of I recommend going and sitting down with a, a computer. One thing I have to say about this watch is without a doubt you will need the instructions. Citizen and Casio and sometimes Seiko with their more complicated quartz watches are very guilty of having designs which are not exactly intuitive. So it involves pulling out the crown at this time, turning something on the dial at this time. You know, for example, right here on the watch you can see in this uh, dial here, this dial does a couple of things. One, in the calendar mode it tells you the day of the week. It also has a power reserve indicator telling you how much battery power is left in the watch. And so you can see here there's this blue scale which is the power reserve um, for the juice in the watch. Okay, however, if the, if the watch is not connected to your iPhone, it uses a scale on the other side which is a little bit harder to see, um, which is another power reserve indicator. That's actually one way of being able to tell whether or not your, your watch is connected to their phone based upon which version 
of the battery indicator it's using. And I would have never known that and I would have been completely confused if I didn't read the instructions to learn that information. So it's stuff like that which is showing you, you have got to read the instructions um, in, in using <laughs> a watch like this. Just, just trust me. So what types of things can you do here? So there's time sync, meaning you can sync the time from your phone which comes in through the network to your watch to make sure it's always accurate. And then there's different alerts. Incoming call alert, okay. Mail and schedule alerts, I happen to have those turned off, but again, you have a new email or you have a task on your phone or some type of calendar event, it can tell you. And then you can have other things like, um, you know, a proximity loss alert, meaning if your watch and phone go too far apart, um, your, your watch or the phone can make a, a, a noise. Same thing with iPhone search. If your phone is too far away, you can make it uh, so that the, the I think actually the phone makes a particular noise to let you know, hey, you're, you're going too far away from your watch. I guess the message is, in the world of the future, you will not be able to separate your phone and your watch ever. Uh, and if you do, you will get a very mild vibration. <laughs> so on the watch itself, you know, there's, there are functions such as a chronograph um, and world timer and things like that. And the way they're used is very simple. So instead of using these pushers on the side, what you actually do is you have to pull out the crown, just one stop, and there's a there's a in, there's sort of a indicator down here, a function indicator, a little hard to see here, where you turn there. You see that little indicator moving? The blue ones are part of the uh, the connection, and then the white indicators are part of the regular watch function. So now I have it on chronograph. I'm pushing it back in. And then the hands know that it's chronograph time. So the hands are still telling the time, but the second hand is up on the top there. So if I want to start the chronograph, I push this pusher. And now the chronograph is running. You can see there now it's timing. And it will time, I believe, 60 minutes or so using the second hand and this, uh, this scale right here, this, this subsidiary uh, dial to tell um, the seconds. Here you have this dial over here is a synchronized 24 hour hand. I think it's also used when you use the world time function. So that's like an AM PM indicator. Here you have the date. I'm going to stop the chronograph here and reset it. And then I'm going to go back and put it in calendar mode, which tells you obviously that information. So here we go, we're in calendar mode. You always have the date here. This is something you can see all the time. Sorry, I keep moving the watch in order to ha make sure you can, you can see it properly. The detail on the watch is nice. I like these electric blue colors. It kind of looks like a bunch of clear um, glass or plastic you know, that's used. The, the flat crystal makes it a lot easier to see. I believe this has a sapphire crystal. I'm not 100% sure. That is maybe yes, maybe no. Sometimes it says on the back there. I like all this text back here. I like it says, do not open exclamation mark. <laughs> if you do, you will have voided everything. Service, re service center repair only. Yeah, the, I, I could have guessed that. And the bottom line is you'll never need to open this watch because you won't, be re you won't be replacing the battery. Anyways, going back to this calendar function here, like I said, you have here the, um, the day of the week, which it says is Tuesday. That is correct, the 15th. Um, and then I believe the seconds hand here uh, tells you the month and it's pointing to one, well sort of to one, and that's January. So that's correct and that's how you'd learn that because it uses the hour um, hands, I'm sorry, the hour indicators in order to determine uh, what month it is. So there you go, there's the calendar. And it, it, it's pretty simple. But again, you know, some of these functions are not exactly what I would say obvious and you'll want to go ahead and look at the manual to do that. So on your default time screen, you have the time, you have the date, it counts the seconds and you have a, a scale here for the uh, the power reserve for the watch and that's good to have. The watch itself is, um, oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot. It's I believe 45 millimeters wide uh, in steel. Like I said, there is a black case version as well. Design is pleasant. This is obviously um, uh, a larger watch. It's not huge, but it's a larger watch um, and it's attractive. This strap is, um, it's a synthetic material, but it's, it's, it's nice. It's supposed to look a little bit like perforated rubber. Let's put it on there. On the wrist, it's, it's very comfortable. And the structure of the watch, even though it is a little bit larger, um, doesn't make it look huge. You have these very sort of tight and compact lug structures, which, which result in something that doesn't look massive on the wrist. But I think it's a, I think it's a good size. 
it's an attractive piece. And Citizen definitely wants you to have something where you can go to people and say, hey, I'm wearing the Citizen Proximity. It doesn't say anything on here about it connecting to the iPhone um, or anything like that, except, say, for this small Bluetooth logo right there, kind of between uh, sort of 4 and, and, and 5 o'clock there. You can see it. Little, little tiny guy there. It's a nice watch, and I think it's, it's fun. In terms of the iPhone connectivity features, it's a start. Um, Citizen clearly wanted to come out with something right off the bat in order to show that that functionality does exist and that it can do something using Bluetooth Profile 4.0. But it's not what I would say, you know, you can't live without it. It's basically using the phone to sync the time and calendar data with the watch and then give you some alerts about some missed things that happen on your phone. So you have to dig in your pocket to see if you have a missed call or a new text message. But it, of course, doesn't tell you who's calling you. Um, it doesn't allow you to silence the phone by hitting the dial, for example, or pushing a pusher. Those features, I believe, will come on other watches later. Android users are a little upset because the proximity watch doesn't go um, with Android phones, only with the iOS uh, Five or six, I believe, uh, only for uh, Bluetooth, uh, uh, only for iPhone 4S and 5 models. But it's an attractive thing, and like I said, I think a lot more people are going to want to use a analog watch instead of a digital watch when it comes to connecting with their phone, because it's just usually analog watches are more attractive. You can see more uh, about the Citizen Proximity, the e Citizen EcoDrive Proximity, on a blog to watch, including a full review coming soon, and the price for this watch is $495. Thanks.